I wouldn't want to make a definitive statement that there would be zero dollars going to, to teachers. And therein lies the debate as TV ads heat up over Amendment 2, sports wagering in Missouri from both sides. Supporters tout revenue for education in Missouri. Opponents are trying to raise doubts. I'm John Holt. I'm Bria Love. Just 39 days to go until Election Day, and both sides are arguing their case. Fox 4's Jonathan Katz live after talking to the chair of the Missouri Gaming Commission today. Jonathan? And Bria, we're here because some of the Gaming Commission employees actually work in this building behind us here in Burlington. The chair of the entire Missouri Gaming Commission actually lives here on the west side of the state, so I asked her what the real side of the story is between the claims on both sides. I see the ads, I see the vote yes and I see the vote no um, ads uh, for both. Jan Zimmerman says the Missouri Gaming Commission has done a lot of research when it comes to how much tax revenue will be generated if sports betting becomes legal. There I just saw an ad uh, $100 million for, for teachers and classrooms. I, I would never absolutely say unequivocally that that's going to take place. That ad appears to have come from Winning for Missouri Education, who's telling people to vote yes on Amendment 2. It released a study that shows legalized sports betting could generate $100 million for public education in the state over the next five years. On the no side, however, Missourians against the deceptive online gambling amendment pointed to the fiscal note the Missouri State Auditor's Office released on this initiative petition. It says an operator can deduct up to 25% of the gross costs of promotional credits and free plays. As a result, it says the Gaming Commission anticipates the operator could pay zero gaming taxes for sports wagering. That is exactly why that 25% language is in there, Jonathan, because, and you're perfect to, to look into this issue. You'll remember when Kansas passed sports betting, uh, it did not generate that much revenue the first year because they didn't cap those deductions. According to Missouri's fiscal note, Kansans wagered more than $194 million in sports bets in February of 2023, but the state only received more than $1,100 in tax revenue. And according to the fiscal note summary, because of these deductions the sports betting operators can make, st state governmental entities really don't know how much money they're going to make off of sports betting, ranging anywhere from $0 annually to about $29 million annually. Zimmerman said the same thing earlier today, saying basically she doesn't know how much is going to be made for governmental entities either. Jonathan Katz, Fox 4, working for you.